In this video, we are going to cover how to set up one of the most unique features about Aspen, and that is the split sidebar. So right now, uh, this is what a default page is gonna look like when you uh, start using Aspen. And we're gonna open up our inspector. Now in the inspector, you have, uh, Rapweaver gives you a sidebar area right here. It's called page sidebar. So even if I start by adding a title, and then I add in some uh, example text here. I still do not see any sidebar content. This is normal. This is uh, normal by default. So now we're going to go to the theme styles. I'm going to uncheck use master style settings. Now I'm going to scroll all the way down until we get to sidebar content. And there is one option that's very crucial. It's called show. <laughs> we want to to toggle this to on. So now we have from left to right a full width sidebar. Now, when we want to style this out to columns, we first start by splitting the sidebar right here, split. But now we have, or now we have a single column right here. But now let's say we wanted to add one image over here. How are we going to do that? Let's add, I'm going to drag and drop an image right into there. So right now, this is the layout we're getting. Not ideal, we're still not quite at that, that two column layout just yet. Well, now this is where import image column comes into play. We're going to enable that. And now it knows that to take, that we got to take an image, put it in one column, and then have the rest text in another column, all at the click of a button. Now let's say we want this image over to the right and we want the text over to the left. We want them to swap positions. You go to split image right. And now you can toggle between how you want that layout to be. Um, other uh, things you may notice, if we want center alignment on the entire sidebar area, you can do that for text. Um, but that's about it um, for the just getting started setup. You can also adjust like if you want the image to be bigger or smaller. <laughs> this is bigger. Um, and, uh, and also just for, to note for the sidebar title, there is a whole other area of dedicated style controls you get for that too. Uh, like let's say for example, you want this text to start more uh, kind of down here and not up here. We could add top padding until we get that exactly right. And then, just to take it a step further, let's say we wanted uh, this image to go up and over the banner. Uh, let's go back over to here. We have vertical offset on the, uh, if we're in the sidebar content area at the very bottom, you'll see vertical offset. If we give this a negative value of say 60, whoops, not 600. <laughs> 60, you can see that we're starting to break over the hump of the uh, main banner area. So now let's give that something like 90. And now we're there. But now we have the site title that's now running back up to getting too close to this. Let's give this a full 100 value of a vertical offset. And now let's give that sidebar title even more top padding. So now we're starting to have a really interesting layout going on. Um, just with a few uh, setting tweaks. And uh, oh, I can see down here we're having, we need a little bit more padding at the bottom of the sidebar. And we can uh, add that in right at padding bottom desktop. Instead of 40, let's do 80. And man, this is just really, really easy to work with as you can see. And, and uh, important note is you have all these desktop padding settings and you also have separate mobile padding settings. And even on top of that, you can set uh, what windows, uh, what uh, screen size do you want it to switch between desktop and mobile padding. So there's so much good stuff here for uh, creating websites and getting things right and pretty easy to work with as well.